Message from the Middle of Nowhere by Gunnar Andre. And I have to admit, I was a bit skeptical at first. I mean, Icelandic Viking philosophy and on the other hand, sales and business? Come on! <laughs> but I have to say that this was one of the most enjoyable books I've read this year. There's nothing really groundbreaking with this book, but I think it's the way the stories are told and how the lessons are extracted from personal anecdotes that really resonated with me. We're all selling something, even if we're not salesmen per se, and maybe that's why the structure of this book works so well. It's intermingling stories from life and sales, and they kind of go hand in hand because both involve risk taking, rejection, opportunities to grow and learn, uh, but also ha both has their ups and downs. Adversity is inevitable and we will all go through our fair share of setbacks, maybe more than our fair share. And Gunnar has a mindset for this. Uh, his motto is, it will only make the book better. And with this kind of positive outlook on challenges and having faith that we come out on the other side uh, wiser and better off with stories of war that we can share with others, that's, with that mindset it's really hard to stop someone. From succeeding and um, I think it's true for the book as well because many of the stories in here comes from the tough times that's where the most valuable lessons has been extracted uh, for Gunnar himself and in turn through this book uh, to me. Gunnar started off his career selling newspapers and he transitions later on to selling books door to door and the first day on the job as a book salesman he had no sales at all but on the second day he blew the company record. Why was this? Well, he focused on selling the books that he really loved. When we try to sell something, I mean, I'm trying to sell the idea of reading books and uh, <laughs> I, I'm excited about uh, books and like for me it's, it's not a problem to sell it because I love it and that's the approach that Gunnar took with the books. He recommended the books that he really loved himself and he could talk to them to his customers for a long long time. And there's just something to it. Sell what you love. Uh, when you do that, uh, you have the enthusiasm, you have the passion uh, to, get, and to get that across to the person on the other side. One of my favorite parts from this book is uh, the story of how Andre negotiated himself into getting free car washes each week. Um, Gunnar, like myself, like anyone, likes a clean car, right? So he was washing his car every week and one day he was sitting there in the car wash thing and he thought to himself, like, I'm paying good money for this. Like, is, there must be a way I can arrange something that allows me to come here every week uh, without paying. Like, there, there must be a way. And he saw a challenge in this thought. And so he went out to the guy who he thought it would be the supervisor for the company and asked him if, um, the company was supplying uh, t-shirts for the employees and uh, the supervisor he said that um, well it's been asked for but it hasn't really happened yet so Gunnar saw his uh, opportunity and said all right if I provide you with t-shirts and caps uh, for everyone in the personnel would you allow me to uh, wash my car here every week uh, and of course they agreed so they have a the deal there was only one problem right Andre didn't have any t-shirts. So the next step, uh, Andre was working as a sales trainer at this point, was that he contacted a supplier that made t-shirts. He said, hi, I'm Andre. <laughs> I, I'm going to help your sales, te sales team. I, you're going to get your sales up by this percentage. All I want co in compensation is some free t-shirts and a few caps. Another done deal. So this way, without spending any money, only using non-monetary terms, he provided what the people at the car wash wanted. He got his car <laughs> washed for free every day and he provided sales trainings for all the t-shirt, uh, all the sales, all people on the sales team of the t-shirt supplier. And I just love this kind of non-monetary terms because I don't use it enough and it was a great reminder. I think my favorite non-monetary deal that I've made was when I was negotiating for a salary uh, a few years back and the company couldn't really meet my needs uh, and I just brought up that I could do one with another week of paid vacation and I got that and the funniest thing is like a week of paid vacation is worth more to me than 
uh, the kind of money that I asked for that I couldn't get. So it became a win-win situation there. And we, I need to adopt that mindset more. And that's the key lesson from this story. So maybe it was because my first gig also was to sell books. I was selling Christmas books, it's called in here in Sweden, walking door to door selling books. Or maybe it's the stories about going off on your own and trying your own thing, a process that I'm very much in myself right now that resonated so much with me. Or maybe it's just a relatable and grounded way that Andre sees the world and um, which allows me to emotionally connect with his writing. But I don't know, but if you're into sales to any capacity or if you're going off on your own, trying your own thing, then this is a great companion after a hard day of hustle. It's laid back, it's like warm and inspiring and it really <laughs> makes you want to go to Iceland really, really bad. My main takeaway from this book is the optimism and the recognition that adversity is inevitable, but you can choose your attitude towards it. and. Nothing embodies this more than facing your struggles with a smile and I'm thinking this will only make the book better. So let me know in the comments what have you gone through that will make your book better and we'll continue discussion down there. Hit the subscribe button, the like, all of that and we'll see you next week with more books. Bjorn out.